So this solo is a really good example of switching between natural minor and harmonic minor. The progression is the first half of the solo is this descending E. By the way, I uh, tuned up my guitars to regular tuning, even though Slash played it in E flat, I'm doing it also. You can just use regular standard tuning. Okay, so um, this, the progression is E, just E5, E5, and then it goes to C, which is the flat six, flat six, there. It's the C, C note, which is the flat six, which makes natural minor. And then we go to B, which uh, it's really a B major being outlined by Slash, which features this note, the, G, the D sharp. If I was soloing over the progression, I would use natural minor over all the chords until, um, until you get to the B chord. When I get to the B chord, I'm going to play that C or uh, D sharp note. We start off in natural minor. Now the D sharp. When we got to the B, I played the D sharp here. Now the D sharp. So I just wanted to say you could do that. You could use the jam tracks, both the fast one and slow one, and practice going from natural minor and then into harmonic minor over the B. Okay, the solo starts off. Let's zoom in and take a look. We're in E minor pentatonic or E natural minor. Basically, this pattern and this. natural minor, E natural minor progression, or scale pattern. So we're going to start off with this, you know, from the little triangle up here, we're bending up to the five, which is B, 17th fret, whole step, and then you're going to play 15th fret, and then a 14th fret and a hammer on. Then this cool look. So you're going to play 15th fret and then 14th fret and hammer on. Then to the harmonic minor note. So. And then bam. Just down the, the blues scale, the, the pentatonic scale. And then 11th fret, hammer on. And then you go up the natural minor scale, uh, 11, 12, 14 on the G string. And then up to the C note, 13th fret. And then a hammer on from the 12th to 13th, 12th. So. And then to the 14th fret. So the whole thing. Also, the bends on the 15th fret are more pre-bends in reverse. And then you're going to bend the 13th fret a whole step and then play it and then go to the 12th fret. Then a little bend, half step bend. Go the 14th fret, and then up to here, 15th fret. And down to the 11th fret. So it's kind of an ingenious little thing there. So let's see. Um, if I go from the top.
Okay, so now we're doing the And we're just bending a half step up to that G note from the 11th fret. And then you go down to the 8th fret and do a half step bend. And that is the harmonic minor note right there. So, Okay, then he clicks on the wah-wah and then does this ascending. The way I play it is... Which I think is a lot easier than the way Slash played it. 